Welcome to the channel. My name is Nadu Nadu Najat and it's a rainy day here in Halifax. In today's video, we're going to be talking about buying your first home in Canada. Now, I'm renting right now, so if you want to know my background, my family moved six, seven, eight times as I was growing up. I've been learning about real estate all through school. Uh, and while I may not be the best expert in the world, I can definitely tell you about moving to Canada and some things you need to consider. So here are the top do's and don'ts of buying a home in Canada. Number one, see how much you can put down for a down payment or a deposit so obviously you don't need the full price of a home to be able to purchase a $500,000 home. You're gonna probably need around 20% or more, I'm guessing if you're moving to Canada, of that home price in order to be safe. So make sure that first of all, you have that budget in mind, you know how far you can extend yourself, and your first step is to get pre-approved. You wanna get pre-approved by your bank for a mortgage. If you don't get pre-approved, there are some real estate agents that aren't going to work with you. So it's one of the most important things, and it sounds like really obvious advice, but I see people time and time Time again, sending me emails and through the channel saying, "Hey, Nader, do I need to get pre-approved before I get, a, you know, before I get a real estate agent before I get started?" And the answer is yes. Always get pre-approved first. Number two feeds into that's William on the stairs. Don't be afraid. It's it's a. Uh, <laughs> Get a real estate agent. You need a real estate agent. If you're coming to Canada, you really need a real estate agent to help guide you through, you know, the, not just the obstacles, but the different nuances that you're going to encounter in the world of buying a home. I highly recommend it. If you haven't looked into getting a real estate agent yet, look in your area, check on LinkedIn, and ask around. Word of mouth is going to be the biggest thing when it comes to getting a real estate agent, but check with multiple sources. Don't listen to that one friend who's friends with a real estate agent because you might end up getting gypped. Find a good real estate estate agent and shop around. The third do is to Okay, William is on the stairs. The third do is to stay mindful of your budget. Definitely stay mindful of your budget. And what I mean by that, by staying mindful is once you get pre-approved or once you're ready to buy a house, be careful about going out and getting drinks with your friends every weekend. You know, you're moving to Canada or you're trying to get a house you're already in Canada. It's a big commitment. It's a big financial commitment and you're gonna have to be paying your mortgage afterwards. So it really helps to have a nest egg, which is my next tip. Try to have some money left over after you buy your house. It'll help buffer you for six to 12 months or more when paying for your mortgage because you wanna have enough money and savings in case something goes wrong. You don't wanna be able, you know, not able to pay your mortgage payments. That's not gonna be good. Here's some recommendations for things you shouldn't do. First of all, don't forget about closing costs. Closing costs are gonna be around 1.5, maybe 2%. I even budget for 3% of the overall cost. And be careful because if you don't have that money available, it's gonna really hit you hard. So be mindful of closing costs. Also, don't get too emotional. What you wanna look into is location. I understand some places might look nicer, it might be decent, but you really wanna look into location when buying a home here in Canada. If you, you pay attention to the location, you see how the prices are increasing, you see, uh, is this close to stores? You know, you have to actually gauge the property value and a real estate agent can help you do this. But you want to be very mindful and careful of the location and not get too emotional at the same time. And a big thing is make sure that you are, you know, stable, you're able to work, you're healthy, so that when you actually buy into this home, that things are gonna go okay for you. Uh, another thing is to just make sure that when you're buying the home, that you're not gonna be in there forever. You probably are not gonna be in this home forever, so you have to be mindful of that. Um, most people move, most people will eventually move, and you don't wanna be, you know, too, you, know, you wanna be choosy about where you go, but you don't wanna be, you know, you, don't wanna, you don't wanna overextend yourself because you think you're never moving again. Like, find something that's within your budget that works, and understand, you're not gonna be there forever. You can easily move eventually, so have that in mind, especially if it's your first home, that's generally the case, and just, you know, roll with that idea, it'll be much easier for you. So, I hope this video helped you. If you're planning to move to Canada or invest in real estate, you know, Drop me a comment down below, subscribe, smash that notification bell, I'm your number one source for tips in Canada.